Hey guys, what's up? Lord Meacher again here, your lord of video games, and welcome to another episode of Persona 5 Royal. In the last episode, we actually spent some time with some confidants, and we're now in June! So, last thing we did was actually spend some time with Ryuji, and we also got a new confidant, which is... Where is she? Yoshizawa, Kasumi, Kasumi Yoshizawa. So we got her, and apparently I need to m get her to max rank, which is five, before December or by December fifth or something, to unlock the Persona Five Royal content. So we'll be doing that. I'll try to um, space everything out so I can actually, you know. You get everything, the new semester, apparently, for Persona 5 Royal, and I'm excited, and I hope you guys are excited, too. So, like I said, we left, left off, last left off with Ryuji, so what we're actually going to do, since our guts and everything went up a little bit, we are going to go to Shibuya, and we're actually going to try the Big Bang Burger Challenge. So... Let's actually head inside and take it. All right, what can I get for you? Let's take the challenge. Big Bang Challenge, 500 yen. Would you like to try? Yeah. You might be able to gain some guts if you do the challenge. Look at that. Now I can actually do the voice. <laughs> Incredible what a little bit of rest on your voice can do. I think you can probably do it as you are now. As you're a second mate, the difficulty of the mission will be increased. The challenge will cost 500 yen. Also, um, I've been having bad allergies for the last two days, so I kind of didn't record those two days, and I'm kind of recording now, which this video is going to be up as soon as I finish this recording, which I am going to keep recording until it's almost the day of the change of heart, and the change of heart will be a separate video. So, yeah, I'll try to do as much as I can today. I'll take the challenge. Why were you talking about uploading a video and all that? Oh, never mind that. Just ramblings of a uh, stressed out employee. As you can see, I'm the only one here. Oh, I feel that. Don't worry about it. Now then, go take a seat and good luck. All right, let's get this challenge. Let's get this burger. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming again. Please do your best to complete your objective, second mate. Now then. Well then, it's time to get the 30 minute Big Bang challenge started. Ready? Go! It's a tough battle! I got this! Mm. It looks good, but it's so big! My god, that's what she said! We're gonna. Alright, I'll stop distracting you, my bad! Thank you. Ah, I did it! Thank you for that joke, Morgana! <laughs> I somehow ate the whole thing! I thought I said the whole damn thing. Y you've done it again! Yep, I have. Congratulations. Congratulations on completing this challenge. Since you managed to crush the gravity burger, I present you the first mate's badge. Hey, the first mate badge. Let's go. We're now a first mate. And to the burger baron who defeated this challenge, we present to you our famous, our world famous Big Bang Burger on the house. We hope you enjoy the taste of victory. And we get five Big Bang Burgers. This will help out in the upcoming castles. Enjoy your new rank as first mate. However, one mission still remains. One mission? Please come again. I look forward to your next attempt at our challenge. Ooh, one mission. We're crushing this. You, you defeated the Gravity Burger this time. You're incredible. You're so admirable taking on such daunting task. Wait. And with that intense level of courage. So, what do we get? Two guts? Yes, we do. Nice. Your pace, your strategy of using well-timed drinks in just the spectacular way you devoured it. Everything was perfect. That is proficiency, right? Knowledge. And proficiency, right? Yeah, so I need... Charm? Excuse you? And proficient. Okay. Huh. Come on. We should head home. I'm full just from watching you. 
Yep, I know. Huh, interesting. That was actually interesting. Ooh, Saturday's the day, right? Or no, no it's not. I want to ask you something. What do you want, Makoto? Why did Mr. Kamashita change all of a sudden? The fuck would I know? He grew a conscience? I'm not interested. I don't know. He grew a conscience? Is that your hypothesis? I guess. It's I don't know. Too sudden. No. I believe it's only natural to think that something must have caused it. And do you have an explanation why, Makoto? Hmm? Well, that's fine. Thank you. You're harassing me. Thanks for your valuable opinion. I'll take it into account. Sure. Sure you will. <sighs> All right. Oh, whoa. We're just going straight after school. Well, the pot is bad today. I bet it's affecting mementos, too. We have all the time in the world to do that. Nothing new today. Nothing new. Um, I'm going to try something. We can actually do the Big Bang Challenge during the morning, right? Big Bang Burger. Let's actually try that. Because I want to actually do something tonight that I remembered. So. Let's see. Let's take the challenge. Um, I'm still going to gain some guts. I'm going to skip all this until I rank. Oh, 2,500? Damn, it's a 2,000 uh, 2, yen discount. Huh. Wow. That's actually a lot of discount. Anyway, at night I'm gonna do Thank something that much. I remembered from early on that I got explained and I never done it, so might as well. Final task, you can ascend to the rank of captain. Star House Behemoth. Let's see, what's this? Oh my god! What the hell is that? That's incredible. It's massive! I'm honestly at a loss for words. Oh my god. Oh. I wonder if anyone's ever, ever actually finished it. I'm wow. sorry, I skipped it everything. Because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to. So the holes head of lettuce in here. The burger's already cold. Jesus. Mm. It looks good, but so big. Oh, oh wow. I still have a long way to go. Look how much it was left. More courage. Guts, knowledge, and proficiency. All right. Probably to rank yep. four. And my enthusiasm, though, in the face of adversity. <laughs> Ooh, three guts? Ooh, this actually would level up guts quite a bit. Come on, we should head home. I'm full just watching you. Yeah, I can imagine. All right, this is evening. Yep. All right, so... Let's... Oh, I'm not available. Uh, ooh. The game show again. I'm not game show. When talking about juvenile crime, you often hear about probation for reforming repentant, repentant offenders. Now, when it comes to probation, overseas travel is prohibited or probation officers are unpaid. Hmm. I think you could go overseas. If you ask for permission, if I'm not mistaken. I... Which one of these statements is true? You be the judge. Are probation officers really unpaid? The correct answer is B. Probation officers don't receive a salary. Huh. Probation officers are civil volunteers. They're only paid the necessity amount when providing a report. Oh, interesting. Since probation is intended to encourage rehabilitation, Overseas travel is not prohibited. Yeah. Nice. You got it right. It's pretty amazing that the chief is doing this for no pay, though. Yeah. Exactly. So I can prove my knowledge. One point of knowledge. <sighs> Alright. Anyway. Uh, restroom. Hey. Nice there in the LeBlanc's bathroom. I think it's time to clean up. Alright. Time to do some work for the chief. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Yeah, we'd never do. Do you want to start cleaning up? Your kindness may improve a little bit. Ooh, my kindness will, will improve. All right, let's actually do that. Oh, well, I certainly appreciate that. 
I'm going home now. Don't break anything in the store. Got it. I won't, Coffee Dad. You have a fun time. We have a hot date. Sorry. If only I wasn't stuck like this, I'd help you out. Hey, I'm serious. Yeah, yeah, whatever, Morgana. Do we clean the whole... Oh, this was the bathroom? This was the whole bar. All right, I'll clean. I bet the chief, chief is going to be happy with this. Thinking about the customers and cleaning the store probably helped increase your kindness. Now, a one point of con. Oh, come on. LeBlanc buffer. Oh, I got a trophy. Interesting. Hey. That took longer than expected. We should go to bed once we clean up the rest. Oh, that takes immediate. Okay. Hmm. Friday. Damn, that just went by quick. Yeah, we were able to grab a seat. Why don't you eat something until we get there? Uh, Zorro! Let's finish the Zorro. Hmm? All right. Although his opponent was a true villain, he still behaved as a perfect gentleman. Yep. Make sure you pay extra close attention to how totally awesome Zorro is. I will, I will, Morgana. That's quite a good read. Hmm. Interesting. So, you finished reading Zoro the Outlaw? Hey, hey! Zoro was not only strong in mind and body, but he also cared deep, greatly for the common people. Hmm. And since you really understand the qualities that made Zoro so great. Mm -hmm. Ooh! Is that knowledge? That is kindness. Oh! That's good. Oh, we're almost at the station. I see that was an efficient use of your time. Yep. All right. Okay, quiet down. All right, everyone, quiet down. I'm changing my lesson for today. Instead of a regular class, we'll be reviewing last week's material. I suggest you listen carefully, but don't think you can slack off, okay? I absolutely won't allow it. No slacking off. Hmm. Weird. Hmm. She's going totally against the curriculum. All this stuff about slacking off was a little odd, too. Wait a second. Is this what she meant by ditch class? I would have thought she'd let you guys leave the room or something, but I guess you can't really complain. Yeah. Oh, this is it. With Kawakami's help, you'll be able to slack off in class on certain days. Use this free time to do various things, such as reading or crafting infiltration tools. I don't think I have materials for infiltration tools. So we'll probably read. However, you will gain knowledge by choosing to study instead. Please keep this trade-off in mind. How come he's been kind enough to give us free time? So we better put it into good use. What do you want to do? So, what's the plan? Let's actually read. Sleep map. Let's actually read. Mm. Let's increase our charm. Is this charm right? I think. Hopefully. ABCs of picking up ladies. Really? Mm. This picture of the author. That smug grin just irritates me. My lord. This is what we're doing? Hey, hey. Mm. Oh, and I didn't realize how long you've been reading. So, how far did you get? I didn't finish it. Seems like you still have some pages left. You should continue some other time. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, that was great. We should thank Kawakami for this later. Oh my god. That was actually insanely good. <sighs> Boy, it's, it sucks being stuck inside this bag. I wish I could take Lady Anna to do something. I'm guessing Anna has something to do. Yo, been looking into Yamagu Yamauchi lately, though. I thought I liked. thought I'd give you an update. Uh, sorry, I can't speak. It's okay, man. It happens. Thanks for understanding. Anyway, um, apparently he's been hanging out at the Munjiyaki shop a lot. I heard he gets real drunk there and brags about to his co-workers. So, perfect opportunity, right? If we can get close, we might get some intel out of him. Uh, he'd notice you. Right, that's where you come in. He knows me, so I ain't gonna be able to get anywhere near him. 
but he shouldn't care about you. But you could just sit next to his booth and if you want it, probably. So... I'll let you know once I figure out when he's going drinking. Until then, we're just gonna put a hold on our training. Well, I'll, I'll be counting on you. Ah. Sounds like we're gonna be hanging out with Ryuji for a while. I guess you'll just have to be patient. Oh, I get it. Hey! Hey! Shouldn't you tell the others about- I, I, Jesus Christ, who's up today? Ah! Yes, Maruki Sensei is available. But before I forget, let's actually go to the library. And hand what in that like? book. I'd like to return a book. Thank you. What would you like? And I'd like to borrow this one's sure. up next. Hmm. You learn dance, right? Sounds interesting. Which should be Carmen. Alright, now let's uh Nope. Well, yeah. Hi, uh, how have you been? If you don't mind, could I ask some of your time? It won't take long, so feel free to just stop by. Yes. Alright, let's go. So, what's it going to be? Do you want to hang out with Maruki? Yeah, let's go see him. Thank you. I'm glad to hear. Well, I'll meet you in the nurse's, nurse's office then. Back to the nurse's office then. Perfect. Now. Well, today's just going to be another back and forth as usual. Yeah, man, gotta max you out soon, or else you're just gonna leave. What? Uh, nothing, just forget, just crazy ramblings and student. I see. Stress for your studies must be catching on to you. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Or will it? Today's your lucky day. Please look at what's what's on this table. Snacks. I've been making you listen to all this stuff about traumas, pain, and grief lately, so... I found these cookies in an underground mall. Now you can have a little break. They're kind of fancy cookies, too. Oh, thank you. I thought I'd get a surprise for you, since you've been kind enough to indulge me all this time. Go ahead, enjoy. This looks great. How old do you think I am? Uh, this looks great. Thank you, Maruki Sensei. Go on. Don't be shy. I've got enough for seconds, too. Uh, sure. Oh, yes. oh I know. As uncle was talking about cookies, they actually reminded me about this psychological experiment. The scientists prepared two cookie containers and put the same kind of cookies in both of them. In one container, they put only one cookie, but the other container was filled with cookies. Ten of them. So, then they had their subjects try cookies from each container and ask how their tastes, tastes compared. Which container's cookies were marked as tasting better? Any guesses? I'm pretty sure the one cookie container, right? Right. Correct. Easy to guess, huh? There's something called the law of scarcity. It's about what you'd imagine from the name. People are drawn to things that are more scarce. You can see this law in action just by observing how excited people get over limited edition merchandise. Yep. Huh, I've never considered that. They're getting played. You know, you're right. Nah, I've never considered that, honestly. Strange prospect, right. But also really inter intriguing. In becoming aware of scarcity, we trigger our own desires and cause a change in our cognition. Not only that, the effect spreads to our senses and creates a subjective, observable difference in our reality. Basically, your perceptions can be changed by your cognition or preconceptions. <laughs> it's all below the conscious level, but it's really incredible. Incidentally, now that you've heard that story, how do you feel about that idea that your unconscious desires may have changed the taste of the cookie? Hey, as long as it tastes good, it's a little scary. My sister's lying to me! <laughs> yeah, a lot of people would feel the same. After all, the taste didn't actually change, objectively. It probably sounds like an exaggeration, but something about that seems so beautiful to me. Maybe the human heart can falter or be unreliable sometimes. But by this experiment, but if this experiment proves anything, it's that even a simple preconception can be enough to bring joy to someone. 
bring someone more joy. My apologies. For example, take that story I just told you. What if you'd eaten that one cookie and it had been the best cookie of your life? Say so never revealed the trick behind it. That cookie would have just remained more delicious than usual. It would have been a subject truth of your reality. Not sure exactly. I guess so. I guess so. Right. I'm glad to hear you say that. Basically, what I wanted to say was... If this idea of preconception could be studied further, it actually applied to treating people. I feel it could help a lot of people. Maybe even more that I could help through counseling. Hmm. Reaction is proof in us. Plenty of people would probably see it as a lie or simply ignoring their problems. Still, even if that's true, I believe that method could save a lot of people. Sorry. Oh, yikes. I'm so sorry. We wound up getting into an academic conversation after all. I really need to watch myself. When I'm talking to you, somehow I always end up going back to my research. Yeah, it's okay, man. I truly am grateful for everything you've done. Not just because I can get your opinion on these things either. It's more like... It's as if I'm talking to an old friend. Huh, really? <laughs> but maybe that's too personal. After all, this is all for the sake of our deal, right? So we say... So we say, anyway. Strong bond of friendship with Maruki. Hey! I'm glad. Chance to restore Joker's SP when it's low? Yes! Right. That is insane! Mindfulness. Now then, I'd better show you another way to mentally train yourself. What I'm going to teach you today is... Oh, oh interesting. Thanks to Madoki's mental training, my mind feels stronger. All right. Hey, max SP increased by five. We're doing a lot of good, like, gains on SP. Oh, and here, never a bad time for a snack, right? Hey. Well, see you. Make sure you get home before it gets too dark, okay? Yay! Thank you! Oh! What's up, Maruki-sensei? Oh, this is Maruki. Sorry about earlier. It was supposed to be a chance for us to relax, but it ended up being another big academic discussion. I really don't mind. Come on, man. I was thought provoking, honestly. Really? <laughs> well, I'm so happy to hear that. I've always been like this. I get so hyper-focused on my research, I don't notice anything else. Back when I was a student, people kept warning me about that. Oops. <laughs> there we go, rambling again. Sorry, sorry. Alright, see you again soon. No problems. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna call Kawakami today. What's this? Calories for you, master. Okay, yep, let's do- Oh! Crossword puzzle. I always like to check. Yeah, let's play a little. Labeled for an unparalleled artist. Isn't that a master of the craft? Does it fit? Yeah, it does. Do we have the letters? Yeah. There you go. Most often using the phrase, master of the arts, of the arts, not of the craft, still. It's reserved for artists with incredible skill and techniques that grew to be heavily influential in their mediums. One of the most prolific masters in painting, Pablo Picasso, also has one of the longest full names in art history. 103 letters total? Holy! Wow! All right. Oh wow, even I couldn't figure that one out. Well, you're dumb, Morgana. Maybe you got a little bit smarter after solving these crossword puzzles. Ugh, just one. Eh, it's fine. We have a lot of knowledge anyway. I just need kindness and charm to rank up. Okay, let's see what Kami's gonna say. I'll provide you with some calories, master. It's Becky, the delivery maid. The maid cooking option includes together with a maid. It's on sale with the request fee. It's only 5,000 yen. I can become closer. Oh, okay. I can rank her up. 
Okay, Kawakami. You accepted Kawakami's deal. Be sure to accept her invitations until you gain her trust, okay? Let's request her. Ugh, that hurts so bad. What? Seriously? Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, then please wait for me with an empty stomach, master. Oh, boy. Is she gonna cook? Oh, she did! Master. Well, didn't you en enjoy the maid's cooking and together with maid services I provided today? I end up cup noodles really do make a difference, don't they? Do some real cooking. Can I have a different maid? <laughs> Come on! They actually do! Yeah, they do. Good job, Kawakami. <laughs> I thought you agree, Master. <sighs> they are pretty complicated, though. It says to drain the hot water once and leave the sauce packet on the lid so it gets warm. Don't request me for going to complain. I didn't complain! What? I, I did not complain! What the hell? Besides, I thought you... I warned you already. Why would you request me again? You... Mm, mm, why is this bitch bipolar? Ah... <sighs> I wanted to be curious. I could slack off and cut. I wanted to see you, Kawakami. Hmm. Are you sure that's really the reason? Well, I guess I'm in no position to complain since I'm making money from it. Ugh. <sighs> so tired. I had a faculty meeting just the other day. Did it have to last so long? Actually, pretty Jeez. cute. Thanks to the Phantom Thieves, the students have been really restless lately. The teachers can't agree on what to do about them or the Phantom Thieves. <sighs> Wish they talked more about our bonus instead. Or they might even cut the teacher's salaries, so I'm so sick of it. Your sister's bill, right? I'll request you more often. Really blunt. I'll request you more often, Kawakabi. Really? I'll continue to serve you with all my might, Master. <sighs> I'm going to be... In trouble if I don't pick up more shifts. Oh. Who's that? Hello? What? What? How much? I can't. Yes, but... That... That's true. Sure. Yes. Yes, I understand. Yes, it's my responsibility. After all. What was that? Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, I'm a little behind on my sister's medical bills. Oh, she's starting to open up. Okay. Ugh, don't ever do it. Don't ever do it, please, Kawakami. Uh, apparently some crazy incurable disease. So, there's a lot of fees and extra charges. That's why it would help. It would really help if you requested me more. Oh, never mind. You're my student. I can't keep relying on you. <sighs> what am I going to do? Anyway, it's time for me to go. Hey. Feel free to call me if... To do housework. Does I have to be through the maid service? I'm close by, so... I can stop over whenever you need me. Oh, really? Huh. Besides, I'm worried that you can't cook or do laundry because you don't have your parents. Oh, and if your friends suddenly come over, I can always leave out the back way. Oh, okay. That's fine. I feel Kawakami's kindness. Aw, thank you, Kawakami. Thank you, Sensei. So nice. It allows you to request Kama Kawakami to brew coffee or do laundry for you? What? She's actually going to do her job now? Hey. You're able to ask Kawakami for housekeeping. You can now hire Kawakami to help out at home by brewing coffee or doing laundry. She will help you save time. Oh my god, that's that's insanely good. Uh, this isn't how it's supposed to go. Oh, I can make her do my laundry from mementos! Yes! From the palaces! In any case, I need to talk to my boss about giving me more shifts. I need to get requested more. I'll help you. Good Don't night. worry. Good night, Sensei. Oh, here she is again. Oh, is this Master? Thank you for using our, ser our service today. 
Was my meal so delicious? Could you taste all the love I put into it? But you can't just eat cup noodle, right? You need balanced nutrient, but you can't. Okay. Maybe next time you can try some of my homemade cooking instead. Sensei? Yes? Was that a pun? Maybe. Oh my god, I hate you so much right now. <sighs> Seriously though, you're still young, so you really need to eat properly. Thanks. I'll work hard at you're not in character. Thanks. I appreciate that. Hey, thank me once you start making actual improvements. Jeez. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, you're so very welcome. <sighs> I know this is kind of silly, but you really do need to eat healthy, okay? I mean, considering how much you spend on requesting me, you can probably afford some good food. Yeah, it's 50 bucks. Well, I hope you request me again sometime. Bye-bye! Go, Kami, Sensei. Ugh. She's funny. We're getting started. It's been getting humid lately, huh? But it's time like these when you've just gotta push through the funk. Don't let the weather get to you. Well, that was the plan anyway. And I got police officers asking what I was up to. Huh? Do I really look that suspicious? Ah, yes. Oh, but speaking of looks, have any of you seen someone you thought was cute and immediately decided they must be nice too? That thought process is totally normal, if not always accurate. There's even a name for it. How about you? Any guesses, Miyake-kun? I won't... I won't flip off on you, Maruki-sensei. You're cool. What do you think the name for this phenomenon is? Let's see. The Pygmalion effect? The Halo effect? The Destiny effect? Halo effect? I'm gonna go with Halo effect. Let me check. Yeah, it's Halo effect. All right, we, we said that we would do that and I keep forgetting that I'll answer first and then see if I was wrong or right. Right. This is it. Right. Correct. I'm surprised you knew. You get distracted by superficial qualities. And your broader perception of someone can get biased. Once you get that far, it's hard to make totally objective judgments. Like, that person is quiet, so they must be scary. Stuff like that. Oh, he actually knew that? Maybe I should ask if I can borrow his notes. Nice well, you must be really smart to be able to answer a question like that. It's nothing, Morgana, but thank you. Both. Knowledge! Hmm. The halo effect isn't all bad, but... I recommend you give people the chance to define themselves instead of making snap judgments. After all, it'd be a shame if your bias has kept you from noticing something truly wonderful about someone, right? Yeah, like everyone's bias against me. Plenty of terrible people look perfectly decent on the outside. <laughs> but Lanyon looks perfect, and she is perfect! Yeah! <laughs> Okay, Morgana, calm it down, buddy. Mm, what to do after school? Mm. No surprise, wedding's pretty boring. I wonder where Ryuji and the rest are up to. Mm. It's raining. Weather very well may have the same. Okay. Anything? No. Let me actually go to the underground mall in Shibuya and explore a bit. So. No, not underground walkway. Underground mall. Oh, use case here. Interesting. Uh, let's go to underground mall. All right, I'm gonna go around and see if there's anything new. What would you like?
Thanks for dropping by. Ooh, interesting. I didn't know there was a supermarket here. Let's buy this. I haven't seen like anything new like that. Huh. Get the special then too. All right. Ooh. Yes. 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 Um. <sighs> Madarame's thing is right here. Anyway. Um. No. Stop. Let's actually. Uh, underground mall. I am running low on yen. So. Let's actually, since we're already here, let's actually work at the flower shop for a bit. If I can, please. What do you want to do? The flower smells nice. What are you going to do? I'll do some shopping. Hopefully. No, no, no. I'll work here. My bad. Not shopping. You may be able to work it on your kindness. Oh, yeah. This did go, um, make my kindness go up. Hey, hey. I heard that a lot of people will show up on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Oh, yes. Today's a Saturday. Perfect. Want to use this time to work? Yeah, I'll work. Perfect. That works out. That actually works out. Holy. I appreciate it. Michiru kun, we have an order for a bouquet. Please handle it. Our customer wants small flowers with soft coloration. Please find three that meet the request. Okay. I love this. Hmm. I live for this. They request the first sm small flowers with soft coloration. That means white or other light colors, right? Yeah. Which flowers will you pick first? All right, let's see. Larger flower, blue, normal size, small orange flower. Orange is very, very black. Shiny, small yellow flower, no. Yellow is very bright too. Light blue for normal. Light blue, small, perfect. Let's get this. Okay, pick the second flower now. Uh, are these new? I don't know. Uh, small orange, small yellow, yellow, small white flower. Oh, okay. Let's get this one. On to the third and final flower. Okay, light yellow flower. But. Light blue, normal, a large, a small yellow flower, a light yellow flower, blue flower, normal size, orange is bright, large, shiny red flower, small yellow. So, this one, a light yellow flower, but this doesn't tell me if it's small. There's no other option, so I'll get this. The order was a small flowers with soft coloration. Is this okay? I'm guessing this should be good. Hey, Hope hey. so. Fingers crossed. Yes, please. Was that it? Please? Amazing! Our customer was extremely happy. Here. Here. Well, here's your pay for today. I give you a little bonus because of how well you did it. Yes! Thank you! That's actually good. We needed that. Oh you my did god. 3,000. 31,000. Good work, Michiru-kun. Come back again when you have the time. We have like $300 on us. We're broke. Nice. Work went great today. Leaving surrounded by flowers might be your true calling. And you were good with the customers, too. Hmm. That's easy, though. Oh, yes. Three kindness. Perfect. Wanna head back? All right. We should head home. Can I spend time with Coffee Dad? Please? Uh, I... I don't know. The exhibition ends tomorrow. Madara must, must have had a change of heart by now, right? I'm sure it'll be fine. So far, nobody's come charging us 
of anything, yeah? But wouldn't he wait to press charges until after the exhibition? What should we do if someone contacts us about it tomorrow? Trasky Yusuke, you still stay with Matarame, right? Oh, that's right. Where's Yusuke? I wonder if he'll be okay with Matarame. Sorry, I'm late. I'm late to contact you all. It seems something will certainly be happening tomorrow. Matarame is on the phone as we speak. Uh, with who? Likely the media. I haven't heard anything in this conversation about present charges. Guess we just gotta wait then. Let us meet in Shibuya tomorrow. Okay, see you then. The exhibition is finally ending tomorrow. Oh my god. I'm sure things will work out fine this time too. I'm sure too. Oh, we can spend time with Sojiro! We can spend time with Coffee Dad. Yeah! But if I do spend time with him or do anything, the day is going to end. So, I'm going to leave this episode here. In the next episode, we're going to start off with having some quality time with Coffee Dad again. And we'll also be seeing Madarame's change of heart. Ooh! <laughs> I hope you guys are excited and why did I sound like Tigger there? Oh my god. Anyway, if you guys are excited as me, please leave a like, comment, and share. That always helps out against that pesky YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to join the Moonlight Army today. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. If you guys want to stalk me on my social medias, the links will be in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So, take care guys. Bye-bye.